How's it going, guys? Vaping Gamer here. Uh, I already recorded this, but when I went over the recording, I realized the resolution was off. Very, very, very wrong. So, I get to repeat myself. Yay! So guys, I want to see how many of you are pumped for Final Fantasy XV, because it's coming out tonight at midnight. I'm very excited myself. I've been a big Final Fantasy fan. Uh, just got uh, Final Fantasy VII for the PSP and PS3. Uh, they did that. It's not the remastered version or anything like that. It's just a cross-platform compatible one, I guess. So just recently got that. I've been playing a little bit by a little bit. Uh, but Final Fantasy X, 12, 13, and a little bit of the 14 online realms is the ones that I played mainly. Uh, I played Final Fantasy XI on the Xbox, I believe it was. I could not get into it because I didn't have the gold membership, so I was a little ticked off about that. <laughs> so, continuing onwards, Final Fantasy X was one of my favorite Final Fantasies by far because Titus, I think his name was. The way it ended. I, I won't spoil it. It's just... I, didn't, I saw it coming, but I didn't see it coming at the same time. Um, Final Fantasy XII, I love the combat system. I didn't understand the story much. Then again, I was like 13, 14 at the time. But I love the combat system. It's a real-time strategy, more or less. It's not, you take your turn. Okay, they take your third turn. Or, you have more speed, you take two turns before they take one. No, it's... If you don't take your turn in time, as soon as your bar fills up, they're going to take their turn before you. So you got to play as you go. Um, I never beat that one either, but that was mainly because... I can't remember. It was like two of the... Two big enemies came at you. It's like... Actually, there was three of them. One had a fancy axe, a uh, chainsaw blade too, and... All that kind of shit, and I could not beat them. It was a pain in the ass. So, I left it off there. I can go back at it later, but as of right now, that's not a big problem with me. Uh, Final Fantasy XIII. I love the story, but the combat system, I could not get into. Like, it just, like you pay too much, put too much uh, points into one side for a medic or a ravager or whatever. And then if you lose that character, okay, now you're out of medic or you're out of ravenger character. Unless you have another medic, that's not the best medic. Like, it was so big of a pain in the ass for me that I couldn't play with it. But I watched all the cutscenes on YouTube and I loved the story. Like, that was a great story for me. Um, Final Fantasy XIV, like, I like the idea of mass multiplayer games, but I've never been a big person into it, like World of Warcraft, stuff like that. I couldn't get into it. So, uh, Final Fantasy XIV wasn't my biggest fan. And Final Fantasy XI, I put in my disc tray, try to load it up, and also I needed gold membership. So I got to play a week, two weeks of it, because of the gold membership that came with it. Ooh, excuse me. So, Final Fantasy games are awesome. I've also played a PSP version, Final Fantasy Tactics or something like that. Really good one, too. Uh, I like how the old retro style of it, so... That was fun, uh, but I'm really psyched up for Final Fantasy 15, and now I'm here to bring you the demo. <laughs> I've been talking for four minutes now, <laughs> but this demo is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And since I just played through it, I am going to do what I can to get to a certain point. Like, there's a tier system in this for collecting gems or shards. I don't know what you want to call them. They don't tell us, but you collect a hundred gems, you uh, Actually, 50, you unlock bronze, play 100, you unlock silver, 250, you unlock gold, then uh, platinum, you unlock by beating a certain enemy. Um, so, I'm going to play through this, show you how it's done, hopefully it's gorgeous like I show off it to be, and I can't wait for the actual game to come out. Let's get into this.
Look out! It might blow up! Yes, that was an S7 reference there. Well, these are the gem shard things I was talking about. Uh, you, leave a comment saying what you think it is, but at this time of moment, I have. I'm gonna call them shards. Yeah, shards. Let's go with that. So, uh, each one's worth one, then there's a big one. I'll show you one over there in a bit. Uh, the big ones are worth ten, and so on and so forth. I doubt they're gonna bring this mechanic back into the actual playthrough game so yeah but be prepared to be astounded absolutely beautiful Whoa. and you get to fight enemies that big of this for a game where you control the character like this in combat like that's astounding um like i said i'm just going to try to get 250 then i'm going to screw around killing enemies with some overpowered items that you get in this demo. My favorite setting is day night. Oh, day night. <laughs> night time. With, uh, raining. I'll change that up there, I believe it is. I don't know if the gems changed area because of this. Uh, there's the one that you changed the weather. Uh, there's sunny, cloudy, and raining. And if I read online was correct, the weather, the daytime is going to change the monsters you face in the game. Uh, and also, if I read what was correct, each day cycle should be two hours. So, one hour for daytime and sunrise, one hour for nighttime and uh, sunset. So, there we go. I want to see how that plays out because it's supposed to be a complete open world version. And now here, let me show you some of the in-game fighting. Yes, yes, I already know how it goes. I have no idea when this uh, demo came out, no clue whatsoever, but since I pre-ordered, I got it. There's heavy, light, throwables, and all. Um, I get to show you another creature, but I should go back and change the day and all that kind of stuff, but that's not going to happen. So I literally spent a half hour before uh, this time now playing this recording and realizing that I screwed up the recording settings. Let's see it. Let's see it. Leave a comment if you guys want to see me uh, make a let's play of this. I know I have so many going on right now. Uh, I'm not going to do Final Fantasy Prototype Zero. Because I won't have two of those series going on at the same time. But I'm done with it because someone screwed up my save files and all that. So I don't want to go all the way through that and back and forth again. All that kind of stuff. Um, I got Minecraft to a certain degree. We're deciding to change mod packs right now. Uh, we got Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix, the original Kingdom. Not original, but the remix of Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, Dishonored 2, I haven't uploaded that in a bit. Mainly taking a break from it because I want to get the story myself too. Um, 
What else am I playing? God, I can't think of it right now. Oh, here's some throwable items for me. They're called fireworks. Yup, um... God, what other games are, am I playing right now? This is a silver play right here. I need a hundred to unlock. Actually, I think it was twenty-five to unlock bronze. The way they do the measuring system in this is to fly here, but silver, gold, you know, all it's weird. But I can't think of all that. the other games I'm playing right now. But leave a comment if you want to see me play this. Uh, the actual version. If it comes out at midnight, I'll record episode one. I'll check back tomorrow in the comments. And we'll see what I can do. Oh, there should be. God damn it. I can't do anything while he's talking to me. Uh, also, let me know if you guys watch shorter episodes, kind of thing, because you notice, like, if you haven't noticed, I do a half hour uploads and all. Um. See, I would, me personally, I prefer the longer episodes because I don't watch the episodes completely. I watch the videos to a certain extent while playing my games or playing on my laptop or something. It's just background most of the day. So, having a longer video means I don't have to change it as much. So, let me know if you want shorter episodes, like 15 minute episodes or something like that. I prefer myself to half an hour probably. Not my per se to give you guys what you want. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm play for oh, so I'm not gonna go shit brightness. I should have a hundred here, but I don't. I mean, I want to farm. <sighs> yeah, they didn't put a vehicle one over there besides the silver plate, and I don't want the silver plate unlocked. I saw something over here. I could have sworn I saw something over here. Fuck me. Teleporting enemies. Can't touch this. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, get closer, hit him in the nuts. Oh, headshot, come on. Now on the ground, and get hit in the nuts! Oh, uh, these guys have about 49 health, if I remember right. I have 96, depending on how many gems I hold. Really? Alright. A hundred should unlock the silver plate. Yep. Let me go pick up the car real quick. New car! Uh, from what I see now, unless they change it in the actual version, you can't do damage to enemies. What's the vehicle? What hit me? What it? Fucking shit. Uh, dodging is pretty interesting in this because sometimes you just can't dodge, you have to warp out of and all. The other ones you just pass and hold square and you all suddenly dodge them and it's simplified, but it won't be that easy. That's something I can guarantee. Check like Hammerton nuts. If I remember right, there is no gems over here. Yeah, I thought so. It's on the other side of the room that gems are there. Um, guarantee you right now that I'm not picking up all the gems. Guarantee you. Because stuff like that. And plus, I have the type of height rope over there. Ugh, if I could English, I have type, type, <sighs> quit, why, type rope, this, 
and keeping a character straight for me is not the easiest thing. Like, yeah, you can see it. Oh, uh, I'm better at this in real life. I will get that last gem. <laughs> like this. Boom. Uh, parkour in games I've never been good at. But hopefully I can bring up the most in this game for you guys. Alright, 133, which means I need another 117. My yellow buggy. You don't want to trade me cars? Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh man, poor thing, you're crashing your car. See, the dodge system is pretty simple. It finds at the right time. Don't get hit. Uh, there's also a parry system I will show you later. Because there's like certain enemies you can parry. Other enemies you can beat the shit off. Like this guy. What? Get in the nuts! And again! Uh, if you guys pay attention to the counter I have in that. Do the bigger enemies give me more points? I can't tell. I wasn't paying attention. But... For some reason there's another time chain horn here, so... Point. Also only bright. Also only darker. This is the one that has more gems behind it. Or shards. Whatever you want to fucking call them. I need 88 more gems to unlock the gold. I'm over here. Also, I'm not the best at driving. Oh yeah, destructible environments too. Alright. Gotta pick up more gems and let's get going. Oh, so leave feedback on what game do you play for Final Fantasy or what is your favorite one's been so far, that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm interested to know, like, is there a Final Fantasy game that I have to try that's on PS2 or PS4 or something like that? Like, I will go out by and give it a shot. Nothing guaranteed. Like, I need to see your recommendation for it, though. Because I know I've played all the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, Final Fantasy games I have not. I wish I could have. I'm still in the mid process of Final Fantasy stuff, and I'm interested in Cloud's story. I really am. Um, have any of you seen Advent Children? That's a great movie. Okay, really? Cool. Okay. I usually have a hard time with the one floating above the bottle, so give me a couple seconds on that, it might take me a couple tries. Alright, there we go. Where am I? There we go. Uh, once again, destructible environment. Destroy everything. That was 
Let's go back over here. Let's go this way. Those three, it helps out these ones. Put the two in my mom's purse. I am 24 away. I should be able to get those. Four, I can't tell how far I climb up this. And on to the coffee table. Actually, dining table. 19. As long as I don't get hit too many times. Try out the sniff Ooh, nice. Watch the damage. Pretty much all you have to do is hold circle to attack. Uh, pretty soon they will throw in a warp mechanism on the side of the I want to see how that goes out in regular combat. The only time you get to use it in the tech demo is you'll see in a couple. A minute or two. Maybe three in max. Actually, if I keep swinging at dead bodies, it's going to be more around four. Uh, another gift. Thunder gold. Pop that out with fireworks. A mysterious bomb in the bag that lights up the sky when thrown. Let's give it a shot real quick. Oh, I haven't shot it yet. Weapons yet. Alright, I unlocked the gold plates. There's a big one back here. God, I jump to get it sometimes. My ball. Destruct more environments. Oh, well, yeah. This is the first time I've been acting up with a camera like this. So, don't pay much attention. The past four times that I played this tech demo, <laughs> I'm excited for Final Fantasy XV. The last four times I played this tech demo, the camera's been perfect. Uh, this is the first time I've seen it glitch out like this. Um, 22 minutes into this recording. I guess I'll throw in the level 15 fight. That'll be interesting. Oh, God, I've been up for... How long? Four hours, I'm already tired. <laughs> Something's wrong with my... My body, huh? Oh, uh, I doubt they're going to keep this in the regular uh, Bachelor Play Throughable game. But there's plates out here that allow you to do this. Boom. Transform into patient. Uh, there's. Depending on what level in the plates you are already, you, you get three different creatures. If you're still at bronze, you get. Uh, listen, if you're at silver, you get a. Uh, Four mixed with a bowl. So, and if you're at gold, you get this uh, giraffe mixed with a, I want to say deer, and a little stripes. In. I don't know what you consider that with the stripes, but this thing. <laughs> Transform back, and it's time for me to show you guys an overpowered weapon. Meteor rain. Are your enemies pissing you off? Do you just want to get rid of them without looking at them? Here you go. Oh shit, wrong one. <laughs> Here you go. All enemies are dead. The ones that are spawned on the map, at least. Oh yeah, Bright's the lower. Uh, let me grab this real quick. Let's set it to sunset. There we go. Oh, my ankles are broken. Enemies are about to spawn. And once you start casting it, you can't get to it, apparently. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. Oh, let me give me a new weapon. Should be somewhere over here. Kill all the enemies! Alright, here. 
try it down here. A new hammer. The shiny hammer, which kills enemies in one hit. <clears throat> Don't fuck with me, motherfuckers. I'm done picking up shards now. Uh, this is the rain one. This one's interesting. Oh, no, hold on, wrong one. Rain drops. Now let me draw on that here. Oh. Rain. Let me spawn an enemy real quick to throw this on. So that way I'm not truly wasting it. Oh, there's one. Oh, crap. Ah, still wasting it. Interesting nonetheless. Back. And plus five more fireworks. Alright. Time to have some fun. At first I thought this was gonna be it's in the hallway just to fuck with you. Kind of thing like, hey, look how amazing our graphics are. You can don't even know you're in an infinite hallway. That kind of thing. That uh, last plate I stepped on refills all your uh, ammunition on your throwable items. So, that's a bonus. Then there's also a plate that we're coming up to that will fill your MP, your magic points. That's going to be interesting. I now get to show you guys the warp mechanic. <coughs> Whew, excuse me, sorry about that. But the warp mechanic is the biggest part in fighting in this game. So, I get to show you that. And I get to show you my favorite warp attack in the demo. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference depending on what weapon you have equipped and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. It's the Citadel. Hmm, something doesn't feel right. Because someone's going to do something awful. Like, this is just a dick move. He's not fully spawned, that's no. bullshit. Don't be afraid, I'll protect you through this darkest dream. Wow. But, you didn't even protect us this earlier. This one will protect you through your darkest dreams. But remember, Noct, in the world of, the your, world dreams, of your dreams, you, you are, are king. king. Not afraid. I'm not afraid. All nuts. Tries to block all you get behind the desk and you can't do anything to you and get in the combat. You did it, Mark. 
I could show you that, so I'm going to give you a level 15 version of him. Oh yeah, platinum plates unlocked. Some good juice right there. Yeah, from this I get to work on my snowball. Uh, question did it. And no, I'm not being a shooting player right now, I'm just sucking the game. There we go. Ruby Light. If you go below half health, he gives you your ability to do this. The farther you are away from your enemy when you hit him with the warp strike, that time factor goes up. Oh shit! That was that bad one. I don't know if it matters what weapon you use, but... Now we're stuck. But if you're ever taking too much damage, you can always more up to a point like this and heal off your head and you're not going to go back this way. I'm so curious on how you lose the sword after doing all this kind of stuff. Does he warp it out or what? Damn it, Ruby Light puts me back up to full health and Oh, uh, arm again. You summon multiple blades and you fuck them up. Stunts the enemy all the time. Just by hitting enemies with this, you go up too far in the bottom left. So, it's a little bit overpowered in this battle. I hope they add a little bit because I'm not one. They're not. And I just took on a level 15 boss of all things. And pretty much took out half his health bar with that attack. But you can go back and keep fighting level 15 all you want. But he will not get any higher. He will not get any stronger. It'll be the same old, same old. You will not get a replenish on your uh, fire uh, or whatever it was. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I want to say tech demo, because it's showing you off the mechanics of the game, which is pretty cool. But it's a platinum demo, mainly because of the platinum place that allow you to return home. This is his dad's, that's his dad's car. This is his safe place. You can always see his dad here. Which I find quite touching since I just recently lost my dad. <sighs> but this has been Vaping Gamer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe. Thanks. I don't give a fuck. You guys see know you. this. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. And let me name my guardian in a couple seconds. I'm going to name him ATC. And I name him that because my nickname in middle school was that. Andrew the Confused. ATC. I remember your name now. <laughs> ATC. Now, Final Fantasy 15 is coming out at midnight tonight. So, what? Okay. So, if you guys want to play it, pre-order it or buy it as soon as it comes out. I recommend pre-order it because you get five DLC packs or whatever. Um, I pre-ordered already. That's why I already got this demo. But if the game's anything like this demo, which it should be, this game will be awesome. So, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed.